The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is from the first book of Kings. Solomon then summoned the elders of Israel to Jerusalem to bring the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh up from the city of David, that is, Zion. All the men of Israel assembled round King Solomon in the month of Ethanim, at the time of the feast, that is the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priest took up the Ark and the tent of meeting and all the sacred utensils which were in the tent. King Solomon and all Israel present with him before the ark sacrificed countless innumerable sheep and oxen. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of Yahweh to its place in the Deber of the temple, that is, in the holy of holies, under the wings of the winged creatures. For the winged creatures spread their wings over the place where the ark stood forming a canopy over the ark and its shafts. There was nothing in the ark except the two stone tablets which Moses had placed in it at Horeb, the tablets of the covenant which Yahweh made with the Israelites when they came out of Egypt. Now, when the priests came out of the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of Yahweh. And because of the cloud, the priests could not stay and perform their duties. For the glory of Yahweh filled the temple of Yahweh. Then Solomon said, Yahweh has chosen to dwell in thick cloud. I have built you a princely dwelling, a residence for you forever. And our response is taken from Psalm 132. Listen, we have heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it at forest fields. Let us go into his dwelling place and worship at his footstool. Go up, Yahweh, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Your priests are robed in saving justice. Your faithful are shouting for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject your anointed. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Having made the crossing, they came to land at Gennesaret and moored there. When they disembarked, people at once recognized Jesus and started hurrying all through the countryside and brought the sick on stretchers to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, to village or town or farm, they laid down the sick in the open spaces, begging him to let them touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all those who touched him were saved. The Gospel of the Lord.